Welcome back, home builders, to another episode of Vern's Garage. My name's Brett, and I just wanted to give everyone a little update on my return trip to pick up the KR2 project in North Carolina. I left uh, Friday, July 2nd, around 3 p.m. from Boston, and then drove 1,508 miles total, and ended up back here um, at 3 p.m. on Sunday, so then 48 hours, drove 1,500 miles. Uh, the way it worked was I rented a one-way trailer down there, so it was, it was fairly easy um, driving on North Carolina, renting the trailer, the U-Haul 6x12 trailer, then driving it over to the airport at Johns Johnson Valley Airport, actually it was in Tennessee. I met the current, uh, the current seller or current owner of the partially built project, his name is Roy, and his wife Jenny, they were both um, just really amazing people. and. Roy had um, over 4,000 hours of flight time, so he was a very experienced pilot. He also had owned over 50 airplanes when he had a flight school at that airport. So, very interesting guy. I wanted to stay and talk to them uh, longer, but wanted to get back on the road too to get the project back home. I was excited to get started on it. So, hit the road again Saturday afternoon and got back here. Um, the first night stayed in a Red Roof Inn. Uh, would not recommend a red roof in the future. It was, it was, I guess, practical for its purposes, but uh, not the nicest accommodations. Um, it caught terrible coffee in the morning, too. The second night coming back, I stopped in Pennsylvania. I just drove as far as I could and drove uh, to somewhere in Pennsylvania and just pulled over to a rest stop and slept in the back of my Jeep. Again, it was by myself, so it wasn't a big deal. If, if um, I had friends or family with me, I would have just gone to a hotel somewhere. But didn't really see the purpose of, of renting a, or getting a hotel room for a couple hours to sleep and, and check out. So um, so the KR2 is back here and now I have two partially built KR2 projects. This one I just got was uh, is a little further along than the first one and our plan, uh, Vern and I's plan is to take the both, both parts of uh, both of them, combine them and Frankenstein this thing into one really nice KR2S project. And um, the reason why I decided to go with a partially built home build was the, the thought of building an aircraft um, by from plans from the beginning uh, seemed a lot. And I thought maybe having a head start on someone else's project would, would be um, would be better. So just give you an idea, so when you do build a home build, these are the plans that come with it, or the, actually these are the plans you have to buy. And uh, you can see, you know, each each page or two has has a part to the aircraft that you build on your own, and then at the end, hopefully you have one put together airplane. So I think uh, having the two KRs to choose from or, or build with, it's definitely give us a head start on, on this on this uh, on this project. Um, we're not going to do much work on it for the next couple of weeks only because I'm going to Oshkosh in a couple of weeks and they have a thing called an air mart. It's like a flea, flea market for airplane parts. And I'm hoping to pick up some parts for the, for the KR2 project. Um, what, what's Oshkosh, do you say? Well, it's only the biggest aviation celebration in the world once a week uh, or once a year for a week in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Uh, it's, I'll try to put the link here or video of it if I can figure that out but it's an awesome uh, it's my first time going and it's a it's a big um, it's an air show they have courses they have seminars I'm actually taking a fiberglass seminar because I need to learn how to fiberglass this project I've never worked with that before and uh, there's other seminars and, and uh, shows and things and they do aviation themed movies at night and uh, a lot of fireworks and stuff so it should be really fun um, but I will give you a certainly an update uh, probably at Oshkosh I'll, I'll try to post something when I'm there just to give you guys a sense of how amazing that that um, uh, that week is and and then of course when we get back when I get back here uh, 
beginning of August, we're going to get right to work on, um, on the build. So we'll see you then.